Hello everyone, part 3 of the Dark Elder vlog. Um, I've worked today on the next 5 for the Dark Elder Cabalite Warriors. Uh, I've got 2 with a standard rifle, I've equipped 1 with the Dark Lance and 1 with a uh, Blaster. Um, pretty much done, just a few highlights and a few more layers and a few bits and bobs to them. But these are, this is the basic uh, colour scheme done still. Done all the highlights for the blue. And the eyes on their tunics, done all the highlight on their poisons and on their uh, dagger as well. Secondary weapon, got that all done, it's looking good, really pleased. Done a little slight highlight on the blast and the blue, so it's got a nice little glowing effect. Um, yeah, same as before, same as uh, same look as these guys, gone for the same colours, except as you can tell, these have had their foundation layer of the red and orange mix I made um, on it. <clears throat> so next up would be the orange highlight just to get them completely zingy. Uh, but yeah, that's that guy with the blaster, really cool. Uh, worry with Cavalite, um, worry Cavalite, worry with Splinter Rifle. Uh, the black's not been highlighted, needs a bit of tidying up. We've just dry brushed on the uh, silver. Got to work on the little bone fragments on the tunics or whatever it is, you know, and same with the hair, hair here. This is the Dark Lance Warrior. Really pleased with the pose, tried to make it look like he's looking right down the barrel, looking down the scope, firing at the enemy. Really, really cool little pose. Uh, I want to, with this here, this bulge here, I'm assuming it's a para cell, or, you know, whatever you want to call it, I want to paint it to look like one anyway. So, although I've done all the little blue highlights for their gems, I am going to actually go with this. I might use a, a real light blue and then build it up and up and up, make it all green, or just use the same blue as what I've been doing before. Uh, but I will be going over this, the rest of it's black, and I'll just use a slight grey highlight, which I've been using for their gloves, etc. as well. These are a bit tied down places, but he's nearly done. Another another Cabalite Warrior with a splinter rifle. Go for a similar pose, got his hand slightly away from his rifle, make it look like he's uh, hoiking it, you know, just about to grab it with both hands, walking off. A little bit of green, just a Right, I'll tell you what, putting these with the other warriors like so, although they're not completely finished, got a couple more hours work in them, having that random little bit of green just popping out, if you look at it from that angle, a little bit of green there, a little bit of green there through the horns, just an odd little bit of green here and there, it really sort of just pops out the, uh, the, and it sort of, oh no, it's a nice little contrast, really really cool, really like it, it's nice, but I'm really chuffed with these guys, I think they're brilliant, really cool. Finally, however, it's the leader. Cyberite, is it, I believe? Cyberite, correct me if I'm wrong. Get that focused on a bit more. There we go. So, as you can see, he's looking quite different compared to the others, isn't he? You know, rather than edge highlighted, he's been completely armoured up. I've literally used my orange and red mix, which is the Mephiston red and the where are we? Troll Slayer orange. Mix them two together to create this sort of shade of red. It's basically a uh, lighter red, I suppose. Um, I've mixed together and I've decided to make the Cyberite. I want to make all leaders and the Archon Warrior, or well, well the, the general, I should say. Uh, but I want to make all the leaders, generals, that have a different look in armour to, to make them really stand out. So the standard warriors have got their real dark armour, just a little orangey red highlight. But the actual leaders I want to have looking really popping out. So the moment it's looking a bit untidy, it's literally just the mix, uh, the blue. The Cantor blue and just some metal uh, dry brushed on here and there and everywhere. But I'm going to make this armor really build up, really orange, really vibrant, make it look really, really different. Because to me, if you're a leader, Dark Elder are quite uh, flamboyant. They're quite, you know, cocky. It, you know, if when you read the backstories and stuff, there's lots of cockiness, lots of self-believing. You know, you know, the, the backstabbery showing off all sorts, all, all that sort of characterization, and so I want to make a little of the leaders so obviously most flamboyant with their armour you know, make them really really look cool, so I'm looking forward to getting this dude really finished up really painted up and looking really cool, so I'll keep you guys updated, hopefully next weekend or some evenings when I'm free get them tidied up, really really work on them I'd say a couple of hours and he'll be done the blues and the greens will be the same as the warriors, it's just the armour I need to really work on and obviously the skin tones, but uh, yeah, really pleased with him Really chuffed. Well, like I suppose, I've got his sword at an angle. Looks really good. So that's them. There's the Cabalite Warriors. And just to have a little change from painting, I've decided to... If I can bring this over. Right, here we go. 
Da, 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 da. The Reavers, check them out, looking good. I've built them all up. Literally, literally, literally just finished gluing these guys. See, there's one Reaver with the splinter cannon. Another Reaver over there, he's going to be the actual uh, leader. A gladiatorial champion, is it? I can't think now. He's been armed with the special weapon. What's it called? Can't think now. But he's got the special weapon, he's also been armed with cluster cow drops. And then we have the other Reaver who's been given the blaster. So, yeah, really, really cool. Chuffle these guys. Also, deliberately, you'll see on this one, you see in the front of the little console there, something slightly raised. On the champion, I've decided to cut that down so it actually fits smooth in. And that's so. If he's the champion, or she's the champion, is it? That's a he. If he's the champion, it kind of makes sense that, you know, he's going to be more. You know, showing off, he's gonna have more skills. He's proven himself time and time again, fighting and whatnot. So I figured, you know, it'd make, it's kind of just a very subtle difference to have this control console, if that's what it's meant to be, just smooth down. It makes it look like he's not bothered to even switch it on. He, he knows what he's doing. He's going for. He's gonna go for the kill. So yeah, that's only a little slight difference on him. The helmets. There's a helmet with a okay, the hair plume coming off the back. I decided not to go for that because uh, I just wanted to sound a bit different. You know. A lot of people have like the the leader with the hair plume, blah blah blah. It's, it looks a bit just. I just want to keep it normal, keep it standard, you know. So I might add more to the actual jet bike itself. Loads of armoury and bits and bobs stuck all over, it, loads of spikes and things. Really make it stand in that sense. But as for the actual warrior, I want to keep them simple, straightforward, blend in with the rest. So they are the Reavers. The next three I build um, will be more standard. I'll probably do another. Two splinter rifles, maybe one other special weapon again, or maybe the same, just have one more splinter, another of that type. Oh, what is that called? And then another blaster or the other version, not sure. But yeah, so that is part three. I want to get these guys sorted and painted up, as well as the rest of the cab, like Warriors and Lord Leader, sorry. And then next up will be the Raider. So stay tuned, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Get any chats going, any thoughts, any comments, please let me know. Many thanks. And, uh, oh, little heads up, I will be doing an unboxing of a Forge World Dark Elder soon. I need to wait to have been paid before I can buy it, but, yeah, keep tuned for that. It's going to be cool. Take care, guys. Rock and roll.